I always ask my students, "What is fun? Do we when we decide to contribute our the rest of our life to a film career? So, what is the thing itself?" Film is not a single definition. It means quite a lot of things. Film means industry. It means, you know,、uh, economy, commercial. It means politics. It means、uh, entertainment and new technology. Uh, illusion, dream, and also the way to make money to feed ourselves and our family. I think sometimes when we when we were young, we made mistakes because because we know just one side of the definition. So we put ourselves at the seat of an artist. Say, okay, I'm an artist. I I have to be creative. But sometimes we forget. We have to eat and live. We have to find the the right balance point to、right. to survive in this in this、uh, industry. I really hope my students can keep their dream that part. And also, they can be realistic in this side, so they can balance the both thing. I I I don't want to see them become extremely, you know, commercial, sacrifice themselves for commercial, and sacrifice them for art. So I I hope they can balance this. Whatever the society is. The government is the political system is. Those people in charge of the power always want film have positive influence to their political system. So as filmmakers, we have we need to think about this as well. At that moment, we had. Some support from、uh, Soviet Russia, so we invited some professors from、uh, Moscow Film Academy, and they came here, uh, uh, shared their teaching experience, curriculum, courses with us.、Uh, so actually, Beijing Film Academy was based on the. Russian style, Russian frame, and、uh, we kept this system running for from nineteen fifties to almost the two thousand. From the new century, we need some change, and we need to communicate with the world from different area, different cultural background, different educational system.、Uh, so we did some research. Uh, I myself wrote a thesis about the comparison of the educational system of Beijing Film Academy and uh, uh, American universities. Filmmaking is one thing; it's a systematic thing. So we can't depart directing away from cinematography. We can't depart sound away from image. So film is something in one. In our tradition, Chinese tradition, we have this this kind of sy systematic theory, like the Chinese medicine. We never depart the different parts of people into pieces. Human life is one thing, and、uh, if you want to understand. The essence of life, you need to understand it in the system. We can't depart it. Action.
So from my own perspective, I really think I, I agree with what you said.、Uh, story is the most important thing.、Uh, when we say film,、uh, we have a wide definition and a narrow definition for this. For this word, a wide definition means not just fiction movies, documentary,、uh, TV commercial, music video. We usually call this commercial image video film. Also, experimental movies, non-narrative movies. So, but as a film school, we, of course, we have this kind of courses for students, but we mostly focus on fiction movies. So that's why、uh, I myself think storytelling is the most important thing of film study. We must have potential cooperation and the future between European film schools and、uh, and and Beijing Film Academy communication. Is very important. We need to know the something in common between us, and we need to know also the difference between us. Then we'll find okay, what do we need to each other, and what can we share to each other. So, I think communication is a bridge, is a bridge for us to know to each other. Next year, we're going to have a exchanging program with. Uh, the Netherlands Film Academy, and、uh, we're going to have a workshop here in Beijing for the、uh, first half year. And next half year, we're going to send our student to Amsterdam to have a workshop there. And、uh, we're going to share what we are good at. When film technology was invented in Western society. So during the last、uh, more than one hundred years, when people in Asia tried to learn film technology from、uh, the Western countries, we took the aesthetic part of film. The same time, you can see for some years.、Uh, I mean, in China, our movie style is quite like Western, like European and American movies, and but. We still have some people try to keep the traditional art appreciation, art aesthetic, get it into film production. We think this is a very important part in China. I mean, if we can keep our traditional、uh, visual style and also some, you know,、uh, philosophy into film production. The most contribution of、uh, Chinese cinema is kung fu movie, so it's it's some Chinese tradition contributed to filmmaking, and we try to find more of this and to share with the world. 喐手系佢阿妹，唔系佢。一马还一马，李鱼。今次補到你，係因為阿爸未死。我補得你一時，補唔到你一世。一時一世，就喺一念之間，同我走，揾你阿妹，仲有機會，自己走，你作死，你揀。有啲嘢你唔知，知道咗，上边部车有咩分别啦 ？So that that's why we're going to have a workshop with the the students from Holland and to try to help them to set up some kind of Chinese looking for movie. You know when you look at a Chinese traditional Chinese painting, it has a totally different. Taste from Western, 
but why and how? Can we have this kind of concept in filmmaking, in cinematography? How to choose the camera angle? How to arrange the distance? What, uh, what is the right distance from the camera to the object? And what kind of lighting? Usually, you know, uh, like now, the camera is shooting me and in my background you can see the corner of the wall. This is Western way. We, we need to create some kind of illusion of perspective of the th third dimension. So we want to see the corner. If there is a wall behind me, it's flat. But in traditional Chinese painting, we always put a flat wall at the behind. But we have a window, and through the window we can, we can see the different layers behind and behind and behind. When you look at it, you never see you know, direct light, always diffused. So, if you watch enough traditional Chinese paintings, you will think the Chinese history is always in uh, some kind of cloudy weather because you don't see direct light. We realized students, the international students, have their own background, experience, uh, advantage and disadvantage, also to our local students. So we are just setting up the platform and uh, to give this space to our international students and local students to dance on it. We don't know the result, what will be in the future. But I'm quite optimistic, I'm quite positive on this. I really hope our local students can learn something from international students. Like, uh, I think international students are more flexible and uh, sometimes their mind are freed. <laughs> Uh, I would say from my personal perspective, you know, uh, today if you, you, you do some research about Chinese cinema, you know it's becoming more and more commercial. Money, investment always needs payback. So the Chinese cinema box office is blooming by, you know, twice, again and again and again. Some people are very optimistic with the situation, uh, but I think it's just one aspect of Chinese cinema. Mm, sometimes a quick money makes things better, but most of the time I think it gives some disadvantage to the industry. We want to get rid of the difference of Chinese or foreign or abroad. Actually, that's the purpose of internationalization. If we have our international students and Chinese students in one class, and also I think in the future, we really hope our, the students gra graduated from our program could be a bridge, a very solid bridge between Chinese film industry and uh, foreign film industry.